Hello and welcome to my new series, Top 5 Reasons Blank is a Badass. Now, the series explains itself really. The only thing you need to know is at the end of each episode, I'm going to tease who will be in the next video. But I'll need suggestions for future videos, so comment down below what you want to see and which characters you think are badass. Now, with all that out of the way, I thought I'd start this series off with one of the single most badass characters in gaming, the intergalactic bounty hunter and the main character of the Metroid franchise, Samus Aran. So here they are, the top five reasons Samus is a badass. Number five, the Colossus Slayer. It's pretty badass to watch small characters fight big ones. You know, like Little Mac and Punch-Out, Link fighting Ganon, Mario fighting Bowser. But Samus is up there challenging Wander for the title of Colossus Slayer. But not really. So let's talk about Samus' height and compare it to her two most iconic villains, Ridley and Kraid. Sorry, Mother Brain, couldn't find dick on your height. So, Samus is confirmed to be 6'3 in her suit. Check the Super Metroid fucking guidebook for that shit. So if we're not counting the original Metroid, because fucking look at this, just EW! EW! Like, look at Kraid, like, what the- WHAT EVEN IS Kraid?! EW! NO! Fucking get that out of my face! So, not counting that nightmare, let's talk about Ridley. So Ridley is a pterodactyl dragon thing that leads the space pirates. In Super Metroid, Ridley is roughly 12 foot 6 or, you know, about two Samuses tall. I don't even think that's not so big. Well, hold on. Can you touch the rim of a basketball hoop? If not, that means you'd be lucky to reach this dude's midsection. Also to compare, he's a foot and change taller than an African bush elephant. That is the tallest elephant I could find. I did research, everybody. Yay. But wait, there's more. In the Prime Trilogy, he gets even fucking bigger. He's about 2.5 or 3 Samus's tall. Yeah, I'm using that as a fucking unit of height. Okay, you. Yes, you, watching at home. Do you live in a two-story house or apartment building or near a two-story building? If so, pause this video, walk outside and stand directly next to that building and look up. That's about 20 feet tall. Now imagine your house has a razor sharp tail, claws, can fly, and start to fucking kill you! If you don't have a house like that, just imagine a full grown male giraffe. Those are 18 feet tall, so Ridley is that tall. Plus, you know, the tails and claws and the death. And if you think that's bad, we haven't even gotten to Kraid. No, not that abomination! Get that out of my face! Christ, it's so fucking ugly. <laughs> So, Crane in Super Metroid is about as tall as seven Samuses. Yes, I'm still using that as my measurement. That is fucking 43 foot nine, okay? So you know how T-Rexes are fucking huge? Yeah, Crane is three feet nine inches taller than them. Go to a museum, think about that for a second. Look at the T-Rex and be like, oh, it's just add a couple fucking feet. This dude is fucking huge. And Samus fights these guys. It like fucking seems like clockwork. It's all the goddamn time, like it's Fucking nothing. What a fucking badass. Number four, Surviving Other M. So, Other M is the one game in the Metroid franchise that isn't seen as at least good by critics and fans. Most people actually fucking hate it. And one huge factor is how they schlop Samus's character through the mud and expected us to be okay with it. She's needy, complains a lot, talks in this really stupid monotone voice at the other half of the game. I don't know how much time passed since then. She gets PTSD from Ridley, who at this fucking point, she's killed like three fucking times. Why? <laughs> like what? What is this fucking scene? Adam, I can reach him. Give me the order, please. Lock and secure the shielding doors now. Adam, wait. There's still time. I can make it. Please let me go. I mean. Please let me go, I- Please let me go, let me go. Adam was right. Adam was right. They took our stoic, badass bounty hunter and tried to add shitty character traits to her. And sadly, as of this video, this was our last journey to the Metroid universe that Nintendo didn't fucking shut down. 
No, I don't care about Federation Force. But, through it all, the gaming community still sees through this shit show and kind of universally agrees to ignore it in terms of characterizing her. And to me, that speaks volumes not only of the fan base, but of Samus and her character. Number three. That resume, though. Alright, let's just talk about the things Samus has accomplished in her games so far. She has destroyed the first mother brain in her very first fucking mission. You know, when the first day on the job and everyone's like, oh, let's do our training. Yeah, no, she was defeating a supercomputer on a planet and her two lead fucking army generals. You know, beauty and the what the fuck. She destroyed the space pirate base on Zebes, her old home planet where the fucking Chozo raised her. Helped end the galaxy's Phazon crisis. Phazon is bad. That's about as much detail as I have time for. Just know that it would have probably corrupted everything. And she stopped that. She's a badass. She destroyed the deadly Metroid species, though basically mothering the last Metroid, which then sacrifices itself to save her life twice. <coughs> then fucking other M happened. Like, are you shitting me? She's saved the galaxy numerous times. Like, oh, that's fine. That's just my next Tuesday morning. Like, you could try to downplay these accomplishments, but without Samus, this galaxy, this universe, would have been fucked. Number two. She was once the weapon unit for a fucking spaceship. Yeah, I don't have a catchy title for this one because she was once the weapon unit of a spaceship. All right, let me explain. So this dives into the manga. And from what I've read, these are kind of accepted as canon. They came out right before Metroid Zero Mission. Go read them, like search them up. They're amazing. It does an amazing job fleshing out her character. Like in this first page you see, what a fucking badass, right? If you want to find this, search Metroid manga on the old Googling device. It's worth the read for sure. Anyway, I wanted to pick out a singular moment to show you, so I chose this one. So let me set this up for you. So Samus, her crew, and the prisoners, Mother Brain and the pirates had taken on the Chozo's planet of Zebes, all needed to escape. But the Chozo are peaceful people, so their ship has no weapons. So Samus has to let her father figure basically get ripped apart by Ridley so she can guarantee everyone else's safety. Mind you, this was immediately after a horrific bout of PTSD, which in this context makes sense because it was the first time she had seen Ridley since she was a little kid and this fucking happened. Eat your heart out, Batman. They decided our best course of action is to literally strap Samus to the hood of the ship and use her as the fucking weapon system. Nah, it's casual. Not even fucking badass. Also, she's a fucking savage. Number one. She's a woman, and that has zero to do with her character. Now let me explain this one, because that might seem oddly phrased. So what I'm trying to say is, Samus has accomplished everything I've already talked about. She's done all this amazing shit. She's a badass that you can use as a fucking weapon system. And oh yeah, she happens to be a chick. See, I think Samus can be the example of how to do a female character right. Often they are sexualized and dumbed down, or made into these Mary Sues, which are like perfect fucking characters that are annoying and they're all like women power. Like you don't need that. That's so unnecessary and annoying. Samus is none of these things. Ignore the end of every Metroid game where they sexualize her and put her in a fucking bikini or you know, Smash 4 where they give her like double Ds cause fuck it. All that aside, the fact Samus is a woman is just a part of her. She isn't defined by it. She just happens to be a girl. And to me, that's pretty badass. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the pilot episode of the top five reasons blank is a badass. Make sure to comment your suggestions for future episodes and maybe even some cool facts about Samus or any other character because hell I love reading that kind of shit. Liking, commenting, sharing, all that stuff helps. Basically it's your way of telling YouTube that hey this content's good enough to show other people because that's how the algorithm works. But hell I'm honestly just happy you're here watching so thanks next time.